Hi there. One, my journey continues into Sauterres in St. Patrick's. It's one of the nicest you know, part of the island. And the sea beside me, behind me, is the sea called Sauterres. And it's beautiful as you can see. And if you look closely, where my fingers point up here is where my house is. But I'm not going to zoom onto it. <laughs> So, so can, you, can you see how far I am from, from where my house is and, um, and just looking at the view. So I turn it around, this is what you get. You know the beautiful, beautiful scenery of the north of the island. I'm going to try and zoom to see if you can see my house on here. Nah. Not really. There is a famous story here in, in Sauterres actually. Um, to do with, um, you know, um, Grenada has fought the battles between the English and the French 14 times, would you believe it or not? And there is a story um, that on the island they used to have the Kalinagos or the Caribs as you might call it who used to live here years ago but when the French was in power they um, to get hold of the island they conquered the Kalinagos and I'm going to show you where what happened some of the nice sceneries I'm showing you here on the way to this area. I am at the seafront. Yeah, the story goes that um, the Kalinagos were the last, you know, um, inhabitants on the island, and the French, to conquer the island, they cornered him, cornered them into this, this place where I am here, taken here at this, at this cliff. And the story goes, rather than being captured by the French, they leap to their death. You know, but I maybe. Um, I have a strong belief maybe one or two survive but we don't know that so this place is called Lippis Hill it says in 1651 the Caribs realizing that they had made a mistake by allowing the French to remain on the island became hostile they killed many French men who in turn retaliated and with their superior weapons decided to wipe up the Caribs the last stand the Caribs made was a precipice in the north of the island but they were completely defeated those who survived rather than surrendering jumped over the precipice which the French called Le Monde de Sauteurs or Lippis Hill the town that grew up there is known as Sauteurs this monument was donated by LA DUA brothers crematorium limited you've noticed I um, talk a little bit in, in French well, Grenada, um, they used to speak French a long time ago, as, as I said, it's inhabiting the French and English. And most of the towns, the names of this town is still named under the French, you know, name, like um, Grantas Beach, which is the famous beach in Grenada, it's called, but they pronounce it as Grantas Beach. Um, Petit As, which is a hotel here, they pronounce it as Petias. So, um, this is how it goes. So this is the monument they dedicated to the people of the island. There is so much history here in Grenada. Honestly, it's so vast, it's amazing, it's a, so much. Anyway, here's a little plaque that tells you in this cemetery lie the remains of Walter Clement Noel, born 21st of June 1884, died 2nd of May 1916. It's the first recorded case of sickle cell disorder here. Could you believe it? So the church is 1840, so I've just been told. And um, this is Sauterres, you know, beautiful, beautiful town. It's, I think it's one of the nicest island, nicest part of the island. Enjoy the view.
so I'm walking to my home now and uh, on the main road to Mount Craven. Some lovely scenery on the way. I'm walking today so I can get this video. Some of the plantations are uh, organically grown over here. I've just done a video on sorrel. Um, look into my video uh, previously. And this is the plant of the sorrel. And um, I'll show you if I can see your plant, what it looks like. There it is. It's beautiful. Like I said, check on my previous video and you'll see a little bit about the sorrel. A little ravine. Still on my journey to my home. A lot of the banana trees. At one point, Grenada used to export bananas, but not anymore now. It's a shame, isn't it? And banana. We are sitting in St. Patrick, and this is Mount Craven and Mount Rodney. Remember, I mentioned PTS, the hotel here in St. Patrick's. Um, it's a beautiful hotel. If you ever come into Grenada, here visit. You know, it's a nice place, really, really nice, nice food and everything. And um, yeah, check it out. So, still walking to where we live. And um, if you turn on this road, it takes you to our house. Bye now. Thank you for listening. Um, please subscribe as usual and share. And I'll see you next time. Bye now.